Hello, my name is Stephanie and I'm a junior doctor. I worked with the histopathology department at King's College Hospital to present a rare case of malignant renal epithelioid angiomyelipoma or EANL. Malignant renal EANLs are a rare condition with a challenging diagnosis, prognostication and management. They are often misdiagnosed as clear cell renal cell carcinomas as both are mainly composed of epithelial cells and exhibit hemorrhagic, necrotic and cystic features. Treatment options are different between the two and so making the correct diagnosis is important. There is limited understanding of how best to use histological techniques to diagnose this rare condition and predict its malignant potential. We are presenting a case of malignant renal EANL to improve understanding of this rare condition. Our patient was incidentally found to have a primary renal cell neoplasm after presenting with worsening shortness of breath on exertion, secondary to an exudative pleural effusion. They had a radical nephrectomy and on initial histopathology examination, a diagnosis of clear cell renal cell carcinoma was made. However, on further multidisciplinary discussion, dilated and distorted vascular spaces and a mixed adipocytic background were noted, raising suspicion of a renal EANL rather than a clear cell renal cell carcinoma. This was corroborated with further immunohistochemistry staining, including to strong and diffuse staining for Milan A and HMB45. We have shared our understanding from the original misdiagnosis and highlighted why there is often confusion between EAMLs and clear cell renal cell carcinomas. We have used an atypical presentation of this rare entity and conducted a literature review to share the latest information around diagnosis and prognostication of EAMLs. We have concisely summarised the latest research on EAMLs and identified techniques to help with these diagnostic pitfalls, such as radiological scoring systems and further immunohistochemistry testing. This case illustrates the importance of multidisciplinary discussion and review of the latest literature when managing challenging cases that are rarer and we hope that this improves understanding around this rare entity and furthers the skill set of the wider global pathology workforce attending this conference. Thank you.